Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So as you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. Now, the first energy that I'm looking at is giving me the impression that many of you are at a point in which you are either taking back your power standing strong, standing tall. With this energy, I get the impression that you are in the mood of not dealing with any sort of nonsense. I feel like you may have had enough and you want to have a different type of energy. So I'm getting the impression that when it comes to difficulties, obstacles and challenges, you're very determined to find a solution and that is a very good energy. This is all about you taking charge. And this is not something hard for you to do, you know. I feel like it comes easy for many of you. Now, before I go deep into that energy, the next energy is talking about contemplation. With this particular card, it feels as if there's a lot of deep contemplation between you and this individual concerned. I feel like when you get a moment, you might be daydreaming about this individual and I feel like they could be doing the same. Now, there's a very big contrast between the energies here. On one hand, you know, you know what you want. You're sticking to your guns. Nobody can push you around. This individual has a very different approach. It feels as if this person is having this sort of front. For some of you, it could be authentic. You know, they could be genuinely very happy. But this particular card is talking about feeling fulfilled, feeling as if there's a great deal of satisfaction in their life. So they feel as if they've accomplished something. Now let's find out what. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. For some of you, the individual you're dealing with is feeling very happy, almost proud of themselves. It's like they've got it all figured out. They have all the answers. They know what they're doing. They know why they're doing it. I feel like this energy may rub you the wrong way. You could be looking at them very closely and saying like, what are you doing? You know, why are you acting this way? And it feels as if, you know, this individual you're dealing with is either coming off as smug or having everything figured out. Yeah. I get the impression here that this person that you're dealing with you know, they do view this connection with you as either a soulmate or a twin flame connection. You know, I feel like they have a ton of love for you. There's no question about it. It is there. But I feel like there's stability missing from the situation. So I feel like they feel really good about you. It's like they're looking at your entire package, you know, what you bring in terms of what you say, what you do, what you've accomplished, and they think to themselves that they've done pretty well. So this is where this individual is coming from. But I feel like there might have been an ending or something that changed. And there's this card here which is indicating that not all is as it seems. So there could be a slight element of deception Feels like this individual is moving in terms of their energy, but they're not as reckless or impulsive. Feels as if, you know, if you're dealing with someone, someone who's very egotistical or someone that feels like they can get away with anything, I feel like something or perhaps you may have cut their tail. In some instances, it could be that. I feel like there's another twist to it because these two cards are talking about this individual trying to get away from their heartbreak. So they could be doing something right now 
that is providing them with a sense of satisfaction. And I feel like they feel really proud of themselves, like they're doing something great, which is very interesting, very interesting from this individual's perspective. Feels like they might think they can get away with something. Let's look at the next card. You know, for some of you, this individual you're dealing with might be gloating or acting like a big shot. Maybe on their social media accounts, you know, they are hyping things up. Could be that energy because I feel like this person is very proud of themselves. They feel as if, you know, they've climbed Mount Everest. Now, the general energy between the two of you is showing to me an iciness in this situation. This person, or perhaps the general energy between the two of you is rooted in, you know, regrets, disappointments and sadness, but there hasn't been any healing. I feel like someone couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted here. Yeah. It's like you've been waiting for change in this situation, waiting for this individual to offer you stability, but something may have come to an end. It just feels as if this person or someone in this situation may have let the other person down. Yeah, I feel like you want this person to be honest with you, but I feel like for some of you, okay, this individual might not be honest. And it feels as if their satisfaction could be coming from the fact that they're not being completely honest with you. Because I feel like you want this individual to tell you the truth. I'm just reading the energies as I see it. And I feel like, you know, this individual hasn't been forthright in terms of being honest with you. Yeah, this energy is showing to me that they feel as if they can often get away with things. You see, something is being hidden here. There's this element of deception coming up and this individual is gloating or feeling proud of themselves. And this person has hurt you because I am picking up the energy of heartbreak from their actions and behaviors. And I feel like you were either expecting happily ever after with this person, but you left. You were left feeling very isolated, lonely and sad. Let's look at the next set of energies. It's a very unusual reading. I feel like you are wounded, but you're also defensive. You're ready to fight back if you need to. This person may have upset you to an extent in which, you know, you're holding that stick and you're ready to charge. And, you know, there is passion here, but this person you're dealing with is very stressed out. But this is beneath the surface. This is what you're not seeing. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. Yeah, it feels as if they're getting these kind of messages to their inner soul, right? And they are ignoring it. It's stressing them out. In some instances, I feel like this person is not really registering what they're doing, but they're also ignoring their inner voice. They've been struggling to make a decision. There has been some type of a breakup in the situation. I feel like they feel as if they have it all figured out. See, their fear is that this sort of wall or thing that they built up is going to come crumbling down. Yeah. 
feels like they're keeping quiet about something in terms of communicating because there's a lot of stress here. There's too much um, worry about what could be said or what would be said in that sense. Very interesting. Yeah, it feels like this love between the two of you was a very deep love and someone left the situation. There's no doubt about it. You see, they weren't honoring this connection between the two of you. I feel like this person that you're dealing with wasn't uh, fully accepting of the love that you had to offer. It feels as if this person rubbed you the wrong way and, you know, they left you feeling as if they don't have your back or that... You know, uh, they were being smug about some of the decisions and choices that they've made. It just feels like many of you have been left in a position of feeling disheartened. I feel like you were hoping to settle down with this individual, but this individual wasn't taking the step to do so. And maybe you stood up for yourself. Yeah. There might have been some hard communication, but it might have left... A lot of room open in terms of trying to figure out what exactly are they saying? Why are they saying these things? It feels like communication didn't really bring closure. It didn't really bring understanding of where is this person coming from. And that energy really did uh, rub you the wrong way. I feel like this person isn't saying something and they feel good about it. And you're looking at them in a very suspicious way. They could be defensive as well. They could be like, I'm not hiding anything, but there is something there. Yeah, I feel a, a lot of you feel knocked down by this individual. You know, you could be thinking to yourself, you rather just ignore this individual, but, you know, not being able to work things out is making you feel very, very frustrated. There's a lot of frustration in this situation. So let's see what other energies are there. I'm sensing here there's something stressing this individual out, but there's something that they feel as if they're getting away with. And this is really, you know, getting on your nerves. And I feel like, you might know or suspect them of hiding something, but they're not revealing it. That's the most difficult part. When you feel as if someone is not really saying or doing things that are in alignment with their actions and behaviors, you know, you just feel as if there's uh, something else going on there. So I feel like from the situation, there's still things that are being woven in this relationship. There's still a lot of things that haven't been discovered when it comes to this connection at hand. I do get the impression that this person you're dealing with is not opening up entirely. I'm also getting the impression that they haven't figured out yet what they're going to do. Yeah. It feels like, you know, when it comes to this situation that, you know, the love has went out of the window to a certain extent just because of how they've been acting and behaving. This individual's behavior is leading to this domino effect. There's definitely an indication here that this is all going to have consequences and they're not fully aware of it. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at what exactly is this person hiding? What is stressing them out? What's making them feel so smug about the situation? You know, what is their right, uh, you know, frame of mind right now versus their wrong frame of mind? And what are they doing that is tearing the relationship apart? If you're looking at going back in and trying to make things work, because I feel like many of you are thinking about the future, but this person hasn't honored, you know, you in the relationship and that, uh, Questions might be of use to you. 
You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.